So in these typical questions that we are given, we are going to solve them by completing of the square method. Remember, it is part of your syllabus also, as you are working with equations, can be solved by use of the quadratic formula. Also, we have completing of the square. As we had this from our grade 11, so I'm just going to have a basic recap uh, using these two questions so that we can be together as we'll be answering questions just in case where it will be needed. So on the first part, we have got an equation, minus 3x squared plus 5x plus 4, which is equal to 0. And noticing on our equation that the coefficient of x squared here is minus 3, which is not a 1. So remember, we must have the coefficient of x squared as 1. So what are we going to do? We divide each and every term by negative 3. Divide each and every term by negative 3. So that is going to be positive 1. All right? 5 and minus 3 is going to give us minus 5 over 3x. All right? 4 and minus 3, that's minus 4 over 3, which is equal to 0. So this is where we are. And what we are going to do is to complete the square. So it is up to you. Some can take the minus 4 to the other side. It is up to you. But you can easily complete the square here. What we are focusing with is this part. We need half the coefficient of x. So we're going to need half the coefficient of the coefficient of x squared like this. So what is half the coefficient of x? That is this part. Half of what? That is half of minus 5 over 3, which is raised to the exponent of 2 like this. So half of minus 5 over 3 is uh, minus 5 over 6. You can use your calculator there. That's minus 5 over 6 squared, which is same as uh, 25 over 36 from our calculator. But we can use this one, minus 5 over 6 squared. So the square that you have just determined, we are supposed to add this square and also to subtract this square on our quadratic here. We are going to add it. So this is how we're going to add it. It's going to be x squared minus 5 over 3x. Remember, you want to complete here. So you add the square. That is uh, this square. You can add the 25 or 36, or you can add this one. So I'm going to use the one in a bracket. It's going to help us when factorizing. There's a purpose that I'm using, uh, that I'm uh, applying that. So I'm going to take this one inside of the bracket. So I'm going to add minus 5 over 6 squared like this. We also subtract it. We add and subtract. So we're also going to subtract that minus 5 over 6 squared like this. The remaining part uh, we are going to write as it was. Minus 4 over 3 as it is. So that's minus 4. Uh, over 3 as it is. That's equal to 0. So that is the condition there. This is the most important part here, this one, the quadratic from this term up to this, this one. You're supposed to factorize that. But for you to factorize this, do not worry because I said you are going to take the terms raised to the exponent of 2, the x that is raised to the exponent of 2, and this one. The number that we are seeing, the inside is what? Minus 5 over 6 squared. Minus 5 here yeah, from the 25 over 36. So it's a negative. So for you to factorize, you consider those two. The x squared, which is, you consider x. The minus 5 over 6 squared, you consider what? The minus 5 over 6 inside the bracket, this one. So how do we factor, how, how, how do we write it now? We take the x and this one as they are, the first and the last term being raised to the exponent of 2 as they are. So that's x minus 5 over 6 squared. All right, guys, this is a recap. There is a lot where it came from. If you watch grade 11, 
mathematics you can get rid of that to say where was this one being taken from how do we end up with this but for now guys for recap we just okay the first one and the, the last one being raised to the exponent of two then the rest we are supposed to simplify uh this one so you can use your our calculator to simplify this part that is uh, remaining all right so let's see uh from our calculator that's a minus it's outside of the bracket this one so it's minus you open the bracket minus five over six so that's minus five uh over six minus five over six move aside close the bracket raised to the exponent of two minus four over three like this so that was going to give us minus uh 73 over 36 all right so that's minus 73 over 36 minus uh, 73 over 36 that's equal to zero all right so from this guys we can easily solve for x because we have this x squared so let's get rid of this other one to the other side of the equation it was going to be a positive all right so that's x minus 5 over 6 squared is equal to the moment we take this term to the other side it was going to be positive uh, 73 over 36 remember how to get rid of a square whenever you have a square like this you introduce the square root both sides of the equation. So by introducing the square root, the square root and the square cancels. So we're remaining with what is inside, which is x minus 5 over 6. What about this side? We can simplify that one. What is the square root of 73? We do not know that one. But we know that the square root of any number is what? Plus or minus. We just write as plus or minus the square root of 73. But what about the square root of 36? We know that one. That's a 6. We know that one. That's, that's a 6. So with this part, we can solve for x by taking the negative 5 to the other side. It was going to be what? A positive. 5 over 6, that one. So meaning to say x is equal to these to the other side will be a positive. So it is going to be 5 over 6 plus or minus the square root of 73 over 6 like this. Knowing that when the denominators are the same, as we can see, we can easily combine the numerators together under the same denominator. So that's 5 plus or minus the square root of 73 over 6, of which combining is not necessary. You can even use your calculator here. Separate plus and minus there. One carries a plus, another one carries a minus. At this stage, at this stage, you just have to separate it there. Or you can combine like this. It's up to you. All right? So on the calculator, that's where you have the separation starting with the one with the plus. All right? So this is how you can simply use our calculator. Put a fraction. Five plus the square root of 73. That's the square root of uh, 73 over a 6 like this. So it was going to give us this as it is. Then you change this, SD, then 2,57 like that. So mostly our answers to two decimal places. So let's just shift. Uh, let's just set up this. So it's shift, go to the setup, fix on number 6. Then you press 2 to two decimal places. So that's 2,26, 2,26, or our x is equal to uh, the one with the negative, all right? So we just have to move out this change, all right? So let's remove the plus, put a negative, all right? So that's it. Change this, it's uh, minus 0 0.59 already. Uh, it is fixed to two decimal places. So it is going to be negative uh, 0, 0.59. That is to two decimal places. So that is using completing of the square method. So if you see uh, the completing of the square method, guys, the, the, the most important part is here. finding half of the coefficient of x, then square it. 
that part that you obtain, you must add and also subtract it so that it neutralizes our question back to how it was presented before. Then you apply your factorization. All right? That is how you can simply work out these typical questions. So I want you to work out as many questions as you can on uh, solving these typical questions. And on number B, you are going to use the concept, uh, same concept. So I want you to use the same concept and see if we are going to obtain the answers, which is supposed to be in this form, x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. This is exactly what you are supposed to obtain, which is your quadratic formula, the one that we are going to use to answer some of the typical questions in our next classes. So I want you to solve this and prove that you are going to have this at the end as your solutions. So if you've got a challenge on how to answer this question, make sure that you go through the grade 11 mathematics uh, factorization, uh, sorry, uh, using the completing of the square method for the grade 11, I talked about that, uh, the introduction. So you go through the introduction of it, completing of the square method. Uh, you see that I explained this question as it is, and even more questions actually. So you can even learn or do as many revisions as you can. There are so many questions there which are waiting for you. That's it, guys. Uh, till we meet again.